So I think it's safe to say that today is the first day of summer. It is currently 70 degrees outside. Oh my gosh, that's nice. So my plan this year with my front yard is to try and make it nice and pretty. Been in this house for two years now and it definitely has some bumps and mounds and Last year I didn't do too good at watering it and there were definitely spots that were dying. I tried reviving it but I had no idea what I was doing and it doesn't look good. So this year I'm going to be going down and making sure I have a beautiful front yard. I'll also be finishing the backyard this year, putting some sod in there. Um, but yeah, just want to take you across this journey so you can kind of see what me learning how to do this. So if you're looking for a pro or an expert that knows exactly what they're doing is going to give you all the tips and tricks, I'm not your guy. But if you're looking for somebody who's a newbie who's going to be making a lot of mistakes along the way and you want to follow me, I'm here for you. So follow along um, and hopefully we can turn this lawn into this. Now I know what you're saying, you're saying, Brandon, Rome was not built in a day, and, and I get that. Um, I don't expect it to be perfect this year, but um, today's the day we start building Rome together. So follow along and let's make this, make this a journey. So we're going to put some pre-emergent down on our front grass to hopefully stop any crabgrass from coming up. Um, it seems to be the first step in getting a good green lawn for the year. So when I was going on and searching online, I'm, I saw a lot of people, a lot of recommendations and a lot of people were using this prodiamine, prodiamine. So I went and bought this prodiamine and it was, it was a little pricey. I spent probably 60 bucks for five pounds of prodiamine um, but I assumed 60 bucks that's, I mean I was spending 30 bucks on regular fertilizer 20 30 bucks so if it's better that's cool so I probably should have done a little bit more research um, because after getting it and doing a little bit more research I realized that you use a whopping five grams of it per thousand square feet every th for th every two three month increments and I have a whopping 862 square feet in my front yard right now. And my backyard will be finished this year, but it's not done. So, out of this whole tub, I'm going to be using 4.3 whopping grams for my whole yard. So, needless to say, this baby should last me a while. And um, if you're looking online for, for some, you probably can go with a smaller, smaller box yourself. So, I also purchased the Chapman Premier Sprayer. Most people have a backpack sprayer, something really nice. Um, my front yard's pretty small. I had a lot to buy this first year, so I went a little on the more economical side, but still wanted to get a decent one, so hopefully this looks good. So, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and spray our, our pre-emergent this year for the spring perfect degree to get perfect temperature it's gonna be 70 degrees today it was 70 degrees yesterday it's gonna be great let's get this going We have our 4.3 grams, 4.36, good enough. Doesn't feel right, but that is all I need. And it's still full. So definitely would recommend buying the, buying the smaller jug of this if you're doing it on your yard.
emergent down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some sprinklers, testing them for the season, but also trying to get that pre-emergent soaked into the ground. So, so I have my stations on my app. I'm gonna select front yard. Just a quick run. And let's do five minutes just to test it. Run. Not sure why my sprinklers are shooting over to my neighbor's yard. I should definitely not be doing that. Besides that, things are going to be looking pretty good. 